Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine my friends. What a nice morning to wake up again. Bitcoin hits again another new all-time high. We are right now here breaking out to the upside from this potential bull flag that we had or even this potential rising wedge that we had. The good thing is that we're breaking now out to the upside. We already had a four hour close above our previous resistance line here at $50,000. So in theory now we should be good to go towards $60,000 our next target so if you're trading this over on bybit and femex you still have enough time to set in some nice longs if you want to trade this potential breakout towards sixty thousand dollar if you still need an account here then make sure to use my referral links that you find down below here in the video description because with my links you will get some extra money and as you can see here in the four hour time frame currently we are starting to close four hour candles above the bollinger bands and this is what we want to see in order to have an explosive move to the upside so as long as we're closing four hour candles above the bollinger bands in the four hour we should see the bitcoin price going higher and higher towards our target of sixty thousand dollar it is possible that maybe we're gonna have one last leg down towards 50 or 49 thousand dollar to reconfirm this support down here and then move on towards 60k but i think uh, here very very soon we're gonna see follow through to the upside even though of course we are already right now a bit overbought in the rsi and also in my own indicator here in the four hour time frame so we could maybe see one last leg down here towards 40 $49,000 to potentially retest here the 9 or 20 moving average in the 4 hour but overall we should be good to go now to the upside since we now had here this breakout and if we go over into the daily time frame also here you can see that we finally bounced off very bullish from the 9 daily moving average we still had here this confirmed sell signal so there is still this warning sign here in the daily also we still have this bearish divergence in the RSI if we are able to close a daily candle and also here the RSI above these highs that we had over here then this bearish divergence is denied and we will see the price go higher and higher so this bearish divergence could be denied right now if the bitcoin price is able to close let's say above 51 or 52 thousand dollar today and also bring the rsi higher than the highs that we had once we reached here this 47 thousand dollar then we should be good to go to the upside and this bearish divergence is denied and overall i told you my friends that even though we have this sell signal maybe the bitcoin price could come back down to test the 20 daily moving average here at 42 thousand dollar but overall we're still in an uptrend and we should consider the price even though we could come down to 40 thousand dollar again to move higher than towards 60 thousand once we maybe had this little pullback down to this moving average at 42 thousand dollar but at the moment it doesn't look like that we're gonna go down there it looks like that we are breaking now out to the upside so you still have time to, to set in some trades and also of course buy some more bitcoin because i told you that as long as you're buying bitcoin below one hundred thousand dollar you are still not too late to the party and you still can accumulate some more bitcoin before we are going completely parabolic so we are still far away from a top in this cycle so this bull market this bull trend will continue my friends and 60,000 is just the next step before then we gear up again for another big new level towards 80 and of course hundred thousand dollar so it looks like that bitcoin currently is again denying all kinds of bearish signals and we'll just head again towards new levels to the upside we can even go here into the one hour time frame where you can see that bitcoin currently is also confirming here in the one hour time frame this new support at around fifty thousand nine hundred dollar we could maybe come down again to retest here this forty nine thousand here the 20 moving average in the one hour time frame but then in my opinion if then the one hour is closing again above 51,000 we should be good to go to the upside so everything is pointing out that we're gonna see now this breakout to the upside and we can do another measurement here of the potential target here of this breakout because if this was a bull flag then we should expect the price let's say today we're gonna break out to the upside to reach the target of around sixty thousand dollar and here is where we maybe could face some huge resistance where we maybe could even see a potential sell-off up at those levels but if bitcoin is able to reach 60k and also start to consolidate above the sixty thousand dollar 
then we maybe never come back again here below 60,000. Because in that case, I think it is very clear that Bitcoin will go very, very soon towards 100k. But this is what we're going to have to see once we're reaching this area up here. I still think there is a very high risk right now to take some big leveraged longs or go all in right now. Even though, of course, it is good to buy Bitcoin below 100k. But I still think there are some signs that maybe right now at 50 or latest here at 60k, we could see one last time a little sell off towards maybe 40 k confirm this area as a new support and then move on towards 100k so this is what i am expecting to happen in the next coming days weeks and months and of course i'm always keeping an eye here on the 9 and 20 weekly moving average which usually are always holding as a very strong support during an uptrend so wherever the price is going keep always in mind that the bitcoin price could at any time come back down here to retest the nine weekly moving average currently at $37,000 and in the worst case even down here towards the 20 weekly moving average which currently is here at $26,000. I don't say it will happen right now or maybe once we're gonna reach a $60,000 but that risk that Bitcoin could drop towards one of these two important moving averages is always in the cards because in almost all bigger time frames we are still looking quite exhausted and overbought so such bullish resets are always in the cards during an uptrend and even if we drop down here towards 26,000 or 37,000 dollar we will still remain in our bull market so enjoy the ride to the upside my friends congratulations to all the gains and if you see any kind of bigger correction down to these two important moving averages then take it as a good buy opportunity don't panic sell just buy more because at the end we will win anyway because bitcoin is about to go towards 100k and even higher potentially during this year so while bitcoin is creating new all-time highs ethereum currently is still struggling around here at around 1800 dollar and i think most likely ethereum will catch up also with the bitcoin price so also here most likely we're gonna see a big pump to the upside towards our resistance here at 1980 dollars and then maybe also have here a breakout to the upside if bitcoin is able to now pump towards 60k so i think if you are too late to trade bitcoin then maybe switch over here to ethereum because usually always one of the two bitcoin or ethereum is leading and then the other one is catching up a couple of hours or days later so if bitcoin is going towards 60k and you missed out to trade this over on bybit or femex then make sure to trade ethereum because most likely then ethereum will follow also what bitcoin did and therefore we're gonna see also here big fireworks to the upside we also got now a confirmed buy signal here in the four hour time frame and also you can see here in the daily chart that we are still closing candles above the 9 and 20 daily moving average and that of course is also very very bullish sign here for ethereum and maybe the pattern that we are in currently is not a rising wedge but a potential ascending triangle and that of course is very very bullish for ethereum and i also showed you some days ago that here on the cme chart here in the bitcoin price it looked like that we were forming here also an ascending triangle and not like in the spot chart a rising wedge so sometimes on the cmes you see the charts clearer because here we exclude weekend data and therefore we have a better way to see the chart without weekend data because usually on weekends we always have play time traditional markets are closed and that's why sometimes it is better to watch the cme chart also in the bitcoin price so ethereum currently could also form this potential ascending triangle here and if bitcoin is able to go towards sixty thousand dollar with this explosive move that i think will happen in the next coming hours or days then most likely also ethereum is gonna catch up with bitcoin and then we're gonna see also here in ethereum prices above two thousand dollar we can also do a measurement here of this potential breakout that we could see potentially even today or in the next coming hours this will take ethereum towards two thousand three hundred dollars so i think this is very realistic if bitcoin is reaching the 60k area that ethereum could reach also here prices above two thousand dollar and 
currently you can see that the bitcoin dominance is having this bounce that we were expecting a couple of days ago and uh, now we are facing some resistance here at the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame so that's why it is very likely that the altcoins will catch up with the bitcoin price if bitcoin is able to go higher towards 60k now because if here in the bitcoin dominance we're getting some resistance here at the 200 moving average at the four hour and drop again towards the 60 percent in dominance then maybe some money will flow back into altcoins and therefore of course we could see another little altcoin rally and of course also this expected ethereum pump that is in the cards as well so this is what could happen here in the next coming hours and days of course because we are facing now this resistance here and this is also coinciding with the 200 daily moving average here in the daily time frame in the bitcoin dominance and that's why it is very likely that here we're going to see another leg down towards 60 percent and therefore a nice little pump also in the ethereum price let's hope so that would be very bullish of course for the ethereum price and also for the ethereum bitcoin pair let's just hope that bitcoin now is able to break out towards 60k and have now this 50k as a new support and before we're going to wrap this up my friends we're also going to have a look into the dxy because the dxy currently had a nice big pump here as you can see right now we recovered above the 50 20 and 9 daily moving average something very unexpected here honestly because yesterday we were dropping again below the 50 daily moving average and we didn't confirm this breakout in the opposite we came straight back up here above the 50 daily and right now we are even trading above the 20 and 9 daily moving average so if today we are able to close above $90.60 that could be a bullish sign for the DXY and of course this could lead into a correction in the crypto space so if the DXY is able to push again here towards the 100 daily moving average here at $91 that could be dangerous for uh, overall the crypto space and of course also for the stock market so if the stock market is starting to crash again I think that most likely also Bitcoin could take a drop here because normally we are always inverse correlated to the DXY so the DXY when it's pumping we're going to see the opposite in the Bitcoin price and of course when the DXY is falling we see the opposite in the Bitcoin price we're going to have a big pump it's not always like that but most of the times so this is the only thing that is a bit concerning to me also of course uh, that sell signal that we had here in the daily time frame even though Bitcoin looks like that we are gearing up here for a big move towards 60k there are still some warning signs that I don't like that much and that's why also I'm not taking big longs here to ride it up towards 60k so this big pump in my opinion is in the cards and will be most likely the next big move of Bitcoin but what will happen afterwards this of course is still what we need to see once we are reaching here this area of 60,000 and also what we're gonna see here in terms of one hour and four hour closes if we are not getting a huge rejection here at around 60,000 then most likely we're gonna see follow through to the upside but if here somewhere we're gonna see a big sell-off and of course also the DXY continues to pump then maybe this could be a local top and we will correct down again towards 40 potentially even towards $30,000 before we gear up then again to go towards 60k and also break this resistance up here but this is still speculations my friends we still have to wait now here for this pump and what will happen once we're gonna see here continuation to the upside everything is still pointing out that we will see today or at least in the next coming days or hours a nice big move towards 55 to 60 thousand dollar so with that said guys gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and also a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our free discord trading chat then make sure to use the invitation link down below here is completely for free and everyone is welcome and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator live stream which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin in different time frames so if you're interested in getting access to this indicator then contact me with a private message here on discord and whenever you're joining the trading chat make sure to go first here to the read first channel click here on thumbs up to confirm that you are a human and not a bot and like this you can easily enter our free discord trading chat so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one
Bye.